Isn't the man himself? I was hoping Garza would send you to handle this one. I'd have preferred getting together somewhere a bit more private than a hostage situation. But this will just have to do. I'm sure we can find a way to get alone together sooner or later. I'd like that very much. Let's start with the accommodations. Port Raga is privately owned and officially neutral, but Wraith and her pals have taken over behind the scenes. My boys and I managed to tweak the sensors and keep your landing inconspicuous, but as soon as you step out of this hangar, it's party time. Do you know where Kressul is being held? We do, but there's some bad news on that front. Wraith has Kressul locked up in a hangar at the other end of the station. There's heavy security plus a big bonus, explosives. Not enough bang to trash the station, of course. But plenty to ruin your day if you're in that hangar when they blow. Play it careful in there. Thanks for the heads up, Sergeant. You got it. I'd say it's time to get out there and get our Senator back. What do you say? Havoc Squad, move out. It's about time. See you on the other side, Lieutenant. Good luck. Oh, you. I should have known Garza would try to keep all of this inside her twisted little family. Well, don't just stand there. You know how to defuse bombs, don't you? Ray said they'll explode if I leave the room. She has a remote detonator, too, so be quick! Don't worry, sir. I'm going to get you out of here. I am not a child to be comforted, Lieutenant. That traitor was going to force me to go on record, saying the Senate officially abandoned Havoc Squad on Endo Prime. I wouldn't mind knowing why you abandoned Havoc myself. Havoc abandoned us. They invaded Endo Prime and incited a massive armed response from the Empire. Do you realize what will happen if this situation goes public? The Senate would be a firestorm. All of our judgments publicly called into question. And General Garza and Spec Force Division would be the first to burn. This is the Senate's fault, not Spec Forces. The Senate has done its duty. Garza's recklessness would reignite a war that the Republic cannot win. I'll admit, I'd like to see the look on that traitor's face when all of her bombs suddenly shut down. To watch that coward scurry away into the shadows when she realizes that her plans have failed would be priceless. No matter how far Wraith goes, I'll catch her eventually. In that you have my full authorization, Lieutenant. Now get to work on those bombs! the bombs shut down we're good to go senator good get on with it lieutenant we still got to get out of this disgusting place go on lead the way Look what we've got here boys welcome to safety senator who in the blazes are you mercenaries this is ridiculous oh yeah general garza hires mercs to rescue republic senators all the time these people are spec force troops in disguise, sir. Fantastic! Now I almost wish they were mercenaries! So, you rescued our charming friend here, obviously. Nice work. Any luck taking down Wraith? Rescuing the Senator tipped her off. She ran for it. Huh. Not sure you got a fair trade on that one, buddy. Wraith must be even better than they say. We were watching every inch of this place. Nobody saw her leave. Is someone going to get me a ship to Coruscant anytime soon? Oh, don't worry, your honorable, eminent senatorness. You're catching a ride with us. I owe you big time, Jaxo. I'm sure we'll think of some way for you to make it up to me. Besides, we're gonna have a fun time together, aren't we, Senator? Yes, delightful. 
Hey, I know you need to contact Garza and report in. But you should come back to my place on Coruscant sometime soon. We'll have a little victory celebration. Just the two of us. What do you say? Count me in. Good deal. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Garza's bound to send me on another op sooner or later. Wouldn't want to miss our chance. So long. Take care out there. I was just speaking with Sergeant Jaxo. Congratulations. Saving Senator Krasel will certainly help our affairs with the Senate. We needed someone to owe us a favor. Well done. I just did my job. You've accomplished something very important. Something beyond even your assignment to hunt down Tavis and the other traitors. You are in the field, Lieutenant. You see how far the Empire is reaching. A full attack isn't far off now. To keep the Empire's forces at bay, we need the Senate's support. We need allies. I'm glad I could help out the cause. Yes, you've done quite well in that regard. One thing, Lieutenant. I was disappointed to learn of Wraith's escape. She's capable of causing great turmoil. When I catch Wraith, she's going to wish she had died. I have little doubt. Now, our technicians have decoded the first two sets of data from the Coruscant Relay. Your first two targets are Taris and Nar Shaddaa. Taris and Nar Shaddaa. I'll move out right away. Good luck, Garza out. Lieutenant, this is General Garza. Do you copy? I read you loud and clear, General. I understand you've just landed on Taris. I've already contacted our local regimental commander, Colonel Gaff, to secure his support. Colonel Gaff doesn't know the specifics of your mission, only that he should assist you in every way possible. I'd like to keep it that way. I'll keep quiet on the details, General. That's for the best, Lieutenant. Taris is a dangerous and untamed wasteland. A Sith attack several centuries ago leveled every standing structure and virtually eradicated the local population. Where cities once rivaled Coruscant, only swamps and ruins remain. Reclaiming and rebuilding the planet has become an important symbolic goal for the Senate. If there's any way I can aid in the reconstruction, I'll do it. Of course. Just don't lose sight of your primary objective. That's all I have for you, Lieutenant. Report in when your operation is complete. I'll contact you as soon as the job's done, General. Well, General Garza graces us with her finest. At ease. I'm Colonel Gaff. These are my senior officers. Your CO sent orders to do whatever is necessary to support your mission. Of course, she didn't see fit to tell me what that mission is. You care to enlighten me? I can't discuss the details. Typical. Forget the reconstruction of Taris, I gotta shift everything around and help with some top-secret mission nonsense. Whatever Garza has you looking for, you won't find it on Taris. Nothing unusual has happened since I took command. Patrol teams 3, 5, and 8. All lost, or without explanation. Sergeant Dorn, I don't recall giving you permission to speak. I wasn't speaking to you. I was speaking to the Lieutenant, per General Garza's instructions. Are you ordering me to violate Code 73B and ignore the General's directive, Colonel? Always got a regulation to quote, don't you, Sergeant Dorn? If the Sergeant has information, I'll take it. The matter was settled days ago. Taris is dangerous. Casualties are common on patrol teams. It's unfortunate, but not unusual, no matter what Sergeant Dorn says. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a planet to run. Carry on with your secret mission. Just. Don't muck up anything important. Apologies for the Colonel, Lieutenant. Not all men are meant to lead. Colonel Gaff is disobeying a direct order. I can assure you it's not the first time he's done so. I'm Ilara Dawn, sir. Sergeant, First Class, Commander of Search and Rescue Squad 204. We have three full squads, all MIA on patrols. The situation is critical. You have any idea what happened to these men? I'm afraid not, Lieutenant. Casualties are common on swamp patrols. Rakgul attacks account for the majority, approximately 87%. However, SAR sweeps discovered no evidence of Rakgul activity in these instances. Someone else attacked those teams. If you're looking for unusual activity, then this is it, sir. What exactly is a Rakgul anyway? Rakguls are disease-carrying mutants. Rakgul bites and scratches are infectious. Those infected become Rakguls themselves in 6 to 48 hours. I included the last known coordinates for the MIA patrols in my official incident report, Lieutenant. I'll load it into your datapad for your review. 
Tares falls under unexplored, unsecured territory protocols. All armor cams transmit to SAR command. I'll contact you with developments. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. Good luck, Lieutenant. That was interesting. I've had drill instructors more relaxed than that woman. Not to mention that accent. Who cares if the woman is uptight? She's gorgeous. You want to take a shot at her? Go right ahead. I'm sure it'll work out really well. Guess it's off to work then. I'll watch our backs. Those are power converters, Lieutenant. Old ones. Any theories on how they got to that location? The people who attacked our patrols may have dropped them. Possible. None of the other patrols logged similar discoveries. Power converters come from ignition systems, engine parts. It takes work to remove them. Someone dropped these converters. Either the patrol or their attackers. We need more information to determine which. I'll search the next coordinates immediately. I'll remain in contact, Lieutenant. Dawn out. More power converters. According to the logs, this patrol followed an entirely different route. Either both patrols recovered the same engine parts from separate locations, or the converters were dropped in both areas by one group. The attackers. I think we're on the right track, Sergeant. A specialist MO7 science officer could examine the converters to determine their source. We have such an officer on staff. I will notify him while you search the last coordinates. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. Very well, Lieutenant. I'll proceed to science division at once. Good luck, Lieutenant. Lieutenant, status report. Are you injured? Everything is fully operational. Good. There's much to do. Your attackers were scavengers. Threat assessment reports classify them as a non-combatant group. That classification is clearly inaccurate. I'll notify command. I need to know where these scavengers come from, their numbers and armaments. Unknown, sir. Local intelligence felt they weren't worthy of investigation. Armed hostility against Republic personnel clearly justifies an immediate armed response, Lieutenant. It's your call. Do we have any leads on the scavengers' HQ? Orbital Scan has just managed to pinpoint the location of the scavengers' compound. I'll scramble up my team and prep them immediately. We'll effect entry to the compound once you've created an opening. For the Republic! Good luck, Lieutenant. Sergeant Dawn, out. You're from the Republic! Watch out! There's a huge alien guarding us and... Ah, there it is! Run for it! <laughs> Who are you? You took that thing down easy. Commanding officer, Havoc Squad. You're kidding, they actually sent Havoc Squad after us? I'm Ensign Tain, sir. I think it's a good thing you found us. The scavengers were gonna ship us off to some guy named Needles as soon as we healed up. Needles? As in Ryler Dorn, the Havoc Squad medic? I really don't know. Needles is all they ever called the guy. Figured it must be a code name, right? Needles is a code name. Oh, guess you've heard of him then. Well, the scavengers also said... Here they are. Cav, Gorin, cover the exit. Vice, Marco, Tabba, see to these men's wounds. Oh, great. Sergeant Dorn's here to make sure we get stomped according to regulation. Report, Ensign. Did you learn anything about the enemy? Uh, yes, sir. Sergeant, sir. As I was just telling the lieutenant here, we were captured for some guy named Needles. And get this. There are Imperials here, on Terrace. They're working with this Needles guy in a hidden base out in the swamps. Sounds like you overheard quite a bit. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. The scavengers were pretty sloppy about talking in front of us. So, are you excited, Dorn? You finally have the chance to correct your old buddy's paperwork again. That attitude's getting you nowhere fast. Uh, yes, sir, Lieutenant. Sorry, sir. Many of the local troops feel that my adherence to regulations is a result of my upbringing, Lieutenant. I was born Imperial. However, after two years' service in the Imperial military, I defected. Given my extensive knowledge and training, I was awarded this position under Service Code 37R. You made the right decision. We can discuss non-mission critical issues later. 
My team and I will get these men back to base, Lieutenant. You proceed with your mission against Needles and his Imperial installation. I have the lead I was after. Time to act on it. I'm glad I could help point you in the right direction, sir. Good luck. For Needles, are you? I'm afraid he's long gone, my friend. But see those hands nice and slow. Don't worry. I won't give you any trouble. I wouldn't stand a chance fighting you. So, I won't. Instead, let me make a suggestion. I'll tell you everything you need to know about Needles. But in exchange, you have to let me go. You're in no position to bargain. No, I'm in no position to fight. I'm in an excellent position to bargain. I have information you need. It's as straightforward as that. It's simple. Let me live, and I will tell you everything. Kill me, and you'll learn nothing. Come in, Lieutenant. This is Sergeant Dawn. Do not trust this man. I served with him in the Empire. His name is Thorus. What? Who, who's that? Who, who are you talking to? D Dawn! Is that you? Thorus is a mass murderer, Lieutenant. A war criminal. A mass murderer, huh? During my time in Imperial service, Thorus ordered the executions of hundreds of civilian non-combatants and full-scale bombings of unarmed populations. Furthermore, these actions were committed in circumvention of direct orders from Imperial Command. I am a soldier. I, I do what I must to achieve my objectives, just like you, Lieutenant. I don't kill civilians, you imp scum. Please, listen. I'll tell you everything. Everything I know. Needles is doing experiments on the Rat Ghouls. He wants to understand the disease, to turn it into a weapon. He left here a few hours ago. He said he was visiting some friends in the ruptured sewer system to get more samples. I'm going to need a lot more detail here. Rat ghouls! He needs more to continue his research. He won't say who his friends are, but the, they supplied the rat ghouls. That, that's everything. That's all I know. I've given you what you wanted. Now what about me? You'd know better than I would, Sergeant. What should I do here? I respectfully suggest you discharge your weapon into Thoris's skull, Lieutenant. No! This isn't fair! The discussion ends now. I'll meet you back in the SAR office, Lieutenant. Dawn out. No! With Thoris, Lieutenant, war criminals do not deserve the opportunity to strike deals. Lab results confirmed Thoris's account. Needles has almost completed a weaponized strain of Rack Ghoul disease. However, the data makes no mention of Needles' friends in the ruins of the transport system. Do you have any idea who these friends might be? Available intelligence doesn't show any populations in the ruins of the transport system, but scans of the area have been cursory at best. Rack Ghouls infest the area, making scouting by foot inordinately difficult. However, one traversable route has been located. I don't see how that helps. If the route we've located is the only one available, then the odds are good that you'll find needles somewhere in the area. I apologize for the lack of intelligence, Lieutenant. This ruined transport station is our only lead to needles' location. I would encourage you to stock up on supplies and munitions before entering the area. Good luck. Congratulations to you, Ensign Sarvan, on your noble sacrifice. That's all right. No, wait, sir, no! Ah, exquisite. I'll be requiring more rack ghouls for my work, Borzoth. We already gave you the rack ghouls you asked for. When will you do as we asked? As soon as the weapon is completed. With it, we will decimate the Republic outpost. I smell an intruder. So you do. Sergeant, is that really you? I've moved up in the world since you last saw me. So I see. You've slaughtered enough Republic enemies to be rewarded then. Well done. I see you aren't alone. You brought that pathetic worm all the way from Ord Mantell, just to die along with you. Talk all you want, Doran. You're not getting out of here alive. Your timing is impeccable. 
Just as I find myself with plenty of pathogen, but no more test subjects, you arrive. The transformation will hurt at first, but that's merely your organs rupturing and realigning. It's all over quickly, I assure you. It's nice of you to offer, but I think I'll pass. Struggle if you must, then, but you'll wish you hadn't made it so hard on yourself. Vorzoth, please assist me in subduing our newest volunteer. <laughs> with pleasure. Fire at will. Let's go. Take them. More samples of Needle's weaponized Rakul disease. What should we do with them? What do you think we should do? Well, can't hurt to take a few samples back so Research Division could take a look at them. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. We'll take the samples back with us then. Just be careful with those things. I'd say it's about time we got out of here, Lieutenant. We'll follow your lead. Back, Lieutenant. Congratulations on the success of your mission. I couldn't have pulled off this mission without you, Sergeant. I was only following orders, Lieutenant. General Garza attempted to contact you a few moments ago. I took the liberty of briefing her on your mission status. Did she ask you about anything else? The General also asked for a summary of my service record, which I provided. The General requested that you contact her before departing Taurus. The holocom in the next room has been prepared for your use. I'll contact her right away. Congratulations once again, Lieutenant. Ah, greetings, Lieutenant. I understand congratulations are in order. Needles is neutralized, General. You've done very well. Needles was a brilliant man. Taking him down was no small feat. I haven't informed Cardin yet, but I doubt he'll be upset. He and Needles never did see eye to eye. Needles was insane. I doubt anyone saw eye to eye with him. And yet, Tavis never had any problems with Needles. Hmm, perhaps that should have been my first warning. And there's something else, Lieutenant. Tell me, what do you think of Sergeant Dorn? Sergeant Dorn helped me when no one else would, General. Yes, your reception on Terrace wasn't ideal. I'm glad you managed to find the one useful officer in the entire outpost. I looked over her service record. Impressive stuff, I must say. Were you aware that Dorn served with the Imperial military for almost two years, Lieutenant? She told me she grew up in the Empire. Yes, the accent is a dead giveaway. Pure German cause. Sergeant Dorn earned more commendations in her two years of Imperial service than most soldiers earn in ten. Since joining the Republic, she's earned two Medals of Valor, both for rescuing wounded soldiers under fire in enemy territory. This woman has led an exceptional career. Someone with Sergeant Dorn's skills would make a great addition to my squad. I agree. Sergeant Dorn is Havoc squad material without question. It's settled then. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You're halfway to a full squad. I'll contact Colonel Gaff to notify him about the transfer. You should go and inform Sergeant Dorn yourself, Lieutenant. Contact me from your ship when you've finished. Garza out. And sir, is there something else I can do for you? Consider this your official invitation to Havoc Squad, Sergeant Dorn. Lieutenant, this... This is the greatest honor of my career. I... I'm speechless. Membership in Havoc Squad is the highest achievement in all of the Republic Armed Forces, Sergeant. Congratulations. Sergeant Dawn, reporting for duty, Lieutenant. I'll prepare my Regulation 6 personnel transfer documents at once. You've more than earned this, Sergeant. I'll gather my personal effects and meet you on board your ship, Lieutenant. Thank you. I assume Sergeant Dorn took the news well? She's joining the best unit in the galaxy. She's ecstatic. Excellent. We'll have the squad fully restaffed in no time. One other detail. Were you able to retrieve a sample of the weaponized rat ghoul disease that Needles was developing? I'd hate to think of the Republic using it on anyone. Research purposes only, I assure you. Just leave it in the secured case beneath the hollow communicator. I'll see it reaches the right people. That's all for now, Lieutenant. Congratulations once again. Garza out. <laughs>